money out of the, the program. So when they just come to tell us that they have given 400 million, somebody who does not even know about this thing or how these people work, they'll start to think that, no, how, what is this person actually doing with this money? They have a lot of projects that they are carrying out on the ground. These projects are meant to promote and protect human rights within, within our own country, Cameroon. So with the main, our main objective is to fight for social justice, fight to promote and protect the rights of ordinary but Cameroon. The, so this the this, this same Minad fighting you guys is the same Minad that issues authorization for you guys to operate. <laughs> so what is really the problem? When you come, what you present to Minad? You present something else, and at the end of the day, when the authorization is given, you go carry out a different, you go out of what you presented at the level of Minat. <laughs> no, what you do is that when you are, want, to, want to legalize an association or an organization as such, you have procedures and you have different directions. Because, because he's been complaining, it's not today, every day he keeps complaining about NGOs, 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 NGOs. That's what I'm, I'm telling you, that we are in a state of law. Say the state of law. If if after we have uh, an association is, is, has been legalized, anything is being done. Because normally the law says that when you legalize an association or organizations, and later on if you modify anything on the on the on the content on the text of the organization, you have to notify the administration. So if the administration maybe later on they realize that what you are doing, you are trying to modify, you have modified their content, your text, but you have not notified the administration. They have the right to withdraw the the, the authorization that they gave, they gave you or summon the, the the leaders of the association to come and answer some questions with regard to that. But if the minister keep telling us verbally every day, keep threatening people without even having any proof that this other people organization is going out of the country or out of the the, 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 the norms that the, the constitution or the internal rules and regulation that was legalized at least they're going to the place of the government to make sure that the court such organization to order not verbally at least have a procedure of doing things in Cameroon we don't have to use uh, we, uh, from, what is there is that we are not I don't think I should be surprised with all this trend because we are in a, in a regime with a place where the rights of uh, freedom of expression and freedom of opinion uh, even the, to our own work with the work that we are doing we are facing serious threat because in a dictatorial regime like the country Cameroon we are facing through it's very normal that people will not be allowed to speak the truth we know that the regime you are still talking, no. you are still dictatorial regime. Dictatorial, they are based on lies telling. What the world is just how we should submit to whatsoever the government says. Because not everything that the government says, these people say that is the truth. And those, those who are working on the ground, they have sometimes have a different perception of what the government is saying. Sometimes, they, like the, the situation in Norway and South Region, they keep telling us that everything is under control. But when you go to some, some of these places in this area, you know that whatsoever they are saying is, 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 is just, it's just story, storytelling. At least the, the, the ministers allow these people to do their work or uh, what they are doing. At least it's true that if some is noticed that somebody is uh, we know that as freedom, we have freedom of opinion or expression and all that but normally we have limitation at least we are responsible Cameroon and that we have the rights we have to respect the, the institution in place and equally respect the state of Cameroon which is the the mother of everything other things so if normally if we are talking we go and realize that we are going out of the line out of the boundary out of the law that can be national law or the international law that the government have signed and ratified at least it's normal for government of Cameroon to call us to order it is very it's a normal thing so not that they should be keep on threatening people, threatening threatening people person you know, if I don't what threatening people don't even make any sense because I keep saying that we are in a state of law. If the government realizes that something is being done by this NGO that is not right, a particular NGO, at least should, the, the, a particular NGO should be summoned and questioned and possible legal actions should be taken against the NGO. So as I said, I conclude by saying that we carry out our monitoring, documentation and reporting. Uh, not to satisfy any particular group, we do it to start to, 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 to protect and protect the rights of Cameroonians that are being a job at the, in the, in the context of Cameroon, where the life of Cameroon, Cameroonians is very is actually in, in danger. Uh, some political parties now that when they, they have some kind of tribalistic tendencies when they come on board, when they, they are out, what they do is, is nothing that Cameroonians should be proud of. You support such political no, parties? No, I keep saying that we condemn also any form of uh, tribalism in Cameroon, in China, of hate speech and all the like. So as I will re I'll keep repeating this part particular word that we are instead of law. And mm -hmm. this time, when the minister keep coming out to remind or to tell us, in, in, we are not even supposed to remind somebody. But normally when the law, they say that in order of the law is no excuse. When the law has said, pr prescribed something, that this thing is, we are, this, this thing is hate speech or is tribalism, which is not accepted in Cameroon. Once they realize that an organ or an individual or an organ is going against this law, at least they should call these people to and question them and make sure that they, these people are sanctioned because it's this sanction that will prevent other other organs or other organizations from doing the same acts. Because I know that when somebody comes out and begin to speak all, all funny, funny hate speech, all form of uh, tribalistic words and all the like, and the government remains silent. As, as it's always the case in Cameroon because of, the, of this issue of impunity, the government remains silent. It will keep encouraging other people, so other organizations or other political parties to go ahead doing the same okay. thing. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tape, before I come back to you, let me go to Dr. John. Dr. John uh, Asso. The Guardian Post is telling us that President Paul Bia is missing uh, one month after Paris summit. I, I, I saw that, uh, that <laughs> caption early in the morning. I was laughing. How can a head of state get missing? <laughs> and of course, it's not a new... 
it's, it's not a new phenomenon with Mr. Bia. Probably it should be in Continental Hotel. Nobody knows. Because that has always been his destination. So it, it's really surprising to see the head of state gone missing. To me, he has been ever missing. He is not the one handling the affairs of the state. He has always been missing. So it's not a new thing for me. It's so, not a new thing. So why would but he... But I think... Yes. Just to chip in before... You see, with what the government is doing so far to handle this crisis and they think they are doing best, if the government is confident